What is up my buttery biscuits? So in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, is going to be a little bit of a messy one, but there is a reason to it, which you guys are gonna have to like obviously wait till the end of the video to see the conclusion of it. Um, you guys, it's getting pretty difficult these days. I'm sure all beauty influencers, beauty gurus, um, people on the internet are getting a little boggled, you know? It's kind of like, what brands can you use? What brands can you not use? It's just very difficult. Um, there has been so many brands that have been canceled, so that's why I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup with brands that have been canceled. You guys, we're living in a generation of cancel culture, which I 100% don't like. I feel like cancel culture is so toxic, so negative. What happened to the good old days when, hey, everyone makes mistakes, let's grow from it, let's, um, you know, give everyone a chance at redemption. That's the type of person I am, and I don't know, maybe I'm living in the wrong generation, the wrong era. I don't know, but I just feel like it's getting a little rough these days. I recently used a Kat Von D product in one of my videos, um, and of course I got people talking trash to me. Oh, I said that I'm going to be purchasing the Jeffree Star palette, which I have refrained from using Jeffree Star products on my channel for two years now. I think that's the last time that I use a Jeffree Star product, um, because I was waiting to see if I see growth in him as a person, and in my personal opinion, uh, I could obviously be wrong. You guys are all entitled to yours. It's just mine. I feel like he has grown as a person, so I decided, you know what? I feel like he's cool. I, I told you guys before several times whenever I've met him, he's been so sweet. Even before he got canceled, he has always been so sweet, honestly. Like, I know that's crazy, crazy, crazy to believe because if you look at his online persona, he looks like he would be stuck up. He looks like he would be very conceited and kind of rude, but he is literally... The sweetest like he really is um but i stopped using my products because i didn't want to offend i stopped using him his products sorry because i didn't want to offend anybody i didn't want to make anyone mad and i feel like you guys everyone deserves a chance at redemption um everyone makes mistakes and if you guys are watching this video right now and you think that you're perfect you are lying to yourself everyone has messed up and we all make mistakes in life this is how we grow so i'm using all these products today of course i'm going to be talking about about why they've been canceled all the reasons why they've been canceled um but the end of course you guys will see in the very end there's really just a reason to this because in my personal opinion i feel like everyone should get the chance to grow you guys are fully entitled to your opinion we're gonna have a conversation in this as you guys know i reply to a lot of my comments i read most of them and this is a huge open discussion to you guys and i want your guys's feedback 100 percent so anyways with that said obviously i'm gonna be doing a full face i feel like this is like such a messy title full face of canceled brands but what else do you call it um it's gonna be a little messy, okay? We're gonna talk about it, I'm gonna give you guys my personal opinion, but I'm a very open-minded person, I'm a very forgiving person, and I'm a very positive person, so I feel like cancel culture is very negative, so y'all may be like ready to pounce on me and think that I'm like condoning and supporting all this behavior, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into all the details and all my personal opinions and beliefs on all these brands that I have sitting in a bucket right in front of me. So. If you guys want to go ahead and see me do a full face of makeup using canceled brands, of course, go ahead and keep on watching. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you guys are not new here, make sure you guys hit the Taco Bell button so that way you guys get notified when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and jump into this messy video. I'm a little nervous. Okay, so for the first products that I'm going to start off with, I'm actually going to go ahead and do my brows off of camera because... You guys know I can't talk and do my brows at the same time. Plus, I feel like everyone knows how to do their brows at this point. You guys don't really need my guidance. You guys, I don't know. You guys have seen me do my brows several times. I don't need to do them again. And plus, I feel like the, the main point of this video is me talking, but while also doing my makeup. Um, so, I am going to be taking... I know you guys already got mad at me for using this. But I want to have a discussion about it, you know, in my personal opinion. And... <sighs> I, I'm getting a little fed up, you guys. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep it straight up real with you guys. I'm getting a little fed up that if I use Jeffrey, I get trash talked on me. If I use Too Faced, I get trash talked on me. I use Huda, even though I've been very opinionated specifically about Huda, I get trash talked on me. It's just kind of like, damn, you know, I can't win. I can't win. It's just too many products, too many brands, too many people have been canceled. It's hard to keep up. And let's cancel, cancel culture. How about that? So I am going to 
take the uh, 24 hour super brow by Kat Von D Beauty and I'm going to be also using the dark brown what is this called the signature brow you guys these two products in particular I really really enjoy I like this better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow I just really do. I feel like the Anastasia Dip Brow is a little bit too thick. I feel like for some reason my, my hairs in my brow started going bald. With this, I don't notice that. I really like the texture. I really like the way it stays on. I feel like it stays on good, but it's not too much. It's not too overpowering, and I really like that. So... Um, another thing is that I'm going to be using from, but this is going to be later in the video, which you guys will be able to see, the uh, Go Big or Go Home Powered by Plant Based Fat Mascara. So, the whole reason why... Kat Von D was canceled. I think she was canceled like two times or three times at this point. Um, there was, okay, I could totally be wrong on this and maybe I should have done my research a little bit better, but hey, we're having a conversation right now. This camera's my friend, AKA you guys. And um, give me your guys' feedback, let me know. Um, to my knowledge, okay, I, I could totally be wrong. I'm totally open for that. She got canceled the first time because she was seen wearing a Nazi, um, costume for Halloween. I could totally be wrong. Maybe I should do my research, but like I said, we were talking about it, okay? That's what I know to my knowledge, and this picture was from years ago. I feel like a lot of points, this is going to refer to Jeffrey as well too, as soon as I speak on Jeffrey. To my knowledge, okay? To my knowledge. Just letting you guys know that. Um, this was taken years ago, and I want you guys to all know, years ago, times were different. <sighs> You guys, look at the movie, like, Little Nicky. You know, in that movie, Little Nicky, there's, like, um, they're making fun of Hitler, they're making fun of Jews, they're making fun of killing Jews, genocide, things like that. The comedy was a little bit more blunt. The comedy was a little bit more dark. Times were different back then, and maybe she thought it was okay to wear that costume, but apparently, um, you know, everyone bashed her for it, and obviously, I think that she would know better now the hurt that it caused by wearing that costume, but a lot of people are bringing it up still till this day, and they put it in my video when I used her product, saying, wow, you support a um a nazi or uh, i don't remember exactly what the words were but basically you support nazi and i'm just kind of like you guys don't you think she's learned from this don't you think that she's grown from this i don't know maybe i'm too optimistic of a person maybe i am just too open-minded and maybe i realize that times were different back then than they are now and i think that she knows that now the recent thing that she obviously got canceled for is her not vaccinating her child and um that's i feel like a hard thing for me to talk about i feel like i don't i can't really give an opinion on that you know what i'm saying because i feel like look i feel like she's putting other people at harm by doing that so that's kind of difficult i feel like she if she honestly wanted to not vaccinate her child she should have just kept that private she didn't need to go out about it but um Question to you guys. This is a really a question to you guys because I want this to be an open conversation Do you think that she's learned from that? Do you think that she realized? Okay, me not vaccinating my child is putting other people at danger Don't you think she realized that so should we have to cancel her and like I said This is a big open end question. You guys ultimately are going to be the ones answering I'm asking the questions as give as well as giving my opinions um, Should we cancel her for that? You know I don't know if that's just me. I'm going to use these products. Like I said, I'm going to do them off camera because I can't talk while doing my brows because um, I don't know why for some reason I just, I can't. Like, I, I'm too expressive. I move my brows too much and I can't talk. So that is the reason why uh, Kat Von D has been canceled. But I will say I do enjoy these brow products and I'm going to be using them. Um, one of the biggest questions of this whole video is, <sighs> this is a question I've been asking myself for such a long time. <laughs> you guys referring to the Huda Beauty Foundation specifically if you really enjoy a product but you're canceling the brand owner do you continue using that product or not if that product works so good for you better than any other product do you continue using that product or not that's what I want to know that is my biggest question that has been so hard for me to answer because I'm like uh, I don't know like Huda to me has been shady several times. I personally I don't know I just I don't know I see her as being very fake in my personal opinion But this foundation you guys is literally at the moment my holy grail You guys know that this is my favorite damn foundation It works so good with my skin type specifically that it's hard for me to part ways with it So that's gonna be my biggest question to you guys is if you like the product 
but the brand owner, you don't condone with their ways, do you continue using the product? You guys answer that. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and I'll be right back. All right, so I have my brows all done. I forgot to mention one thing. I really do like the way this, um, oh, the signature brow is shaped because the shape of it, it's kind of cool because you can actually shade in your brow sideways or you can get really defined if you turn it sideways, really depending upon your preference. That's why I like this. Um, no other brow product to my knowledge is actually shaped like this. So that's why I like it. All right, so I got my brows all done and I do have my eyes. Um, actually, you know what? I don't have them prime. I actually just have them set right now. But the next thing I want to go into is Juvia's Place. This is actually the only palette that I own from them, and they were canceled a while back because they had a disagreement with Jackie Ina. And you guys, look, if you're a brand owner, I feel like it's very difficult because you have opinions too. You're just like everyone else, and this is the bad thing about it, and I think this is why um, being on social media while owning a brand is very difficult because if you think about it, look at Lancome, look at Mac, look at all the big brands. You don't even know who the owner is. Um, you don't know who the CEO is, and they're not on social media talking trash. They're very professional, stay off of it, and they make their money. However, when people are... <clears throat> on social media, it does make it difficult because everyone has opinions, obviously just like me, and it's like when I own a brand, I think that I am a very opinionated person, so I feel like it's gonna be a difficult thing for me to shut my mouth. But Juvia's Place got into it with Jackie Ina on social media, and she like dragged her on Twitter, and she ended up deleting everything, but obviously everyone had already screenshot it and saw it, and they had canceled Juvia's Place. Um, I think that was temporary, it didn't last long. It really wasn't that big of a deal, um, but she did mention one thing in there because it's gonna go into my Too Faced part of the video. But she mentioned in there that she supports Too Faced, she's with Too Faced, and she claims to be a, um, you know, um, she's pro-black and she's, you know, obviously standing up for black rights and everything like that. But when Jared, he posted a picture, I'll put it right here, he had a cake that said, Rich Lives Matter, and uh, she was upset that Jackie Ina didn't publicly say something to Jared. And this is my thing about it. I really do think that if they built a friendship, maybe she addressed it in private. So I think that the um, owner of Juvia's Place should have really kept her mouth closed during this time, but I do understand at the same time, everyone has an opinion and you know, she was just letting her have it because she felt some type of way about Jackie Ina. Um, but I really do think from her standpoint, I get it. I would probably be saying something to Jackie Ina as well too, like, hello, why aren't you, you're, you're pro-black, you're pro-black rights, and you're very, very vocal about that, but here you are working with a brand, and the owner's gonna go and literally write on a birthday cake, Rich Lives Matter, which is a complete mock of the Black Lives Matter movement, so it does make her look like, hello, where are you? But I do think that if her and Jared built a friendship, maybe she was classy about it and took it private and didn't put it on social media, because when you're friends with somebody, you shouldn't blast them on social media. You should go privately and speak with them about it. So I'm gonna be going into the, uh, what is this, the Saharan, Sahara, oh my god, I cannot even talk, Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna be starting off with the shade, ooh, I got mine messed up, um, Katsina, with my MAC 217 brush. I do wish that this had a mirror, however, oh no, that brush is still wet. Okay, let me dry that real fast. Okay, I have my brush all dry. I'm gonna go in with the shade Katsina now, um, and I'm gonna be running that all through the crease. This is just a, I feel like a warm tone brown. But then it kind of, I don't know, it's a warm tone, cool tone, it's, it's a weird one. But I did do a review on this palette and I actually really liked it. Um, but anyways, back to the cancellation. This is the difficult part about things, is I feel like the owner obviously wasn't the best of friends with Jackie Ina, so she felt some type of way about her, and then she went and publicly said some things about her, but she doesn't know what happened behind uh, Jared and Jackie Ina, so that's where it's kind of like, Look, everyone has their opinions. Everyone wants to be vocal about their opinions and be heard and um, sometimes throw a little shade. And I feel like the brand owner should have just kept it quiet, honestly. But obviously I know she feels some type of way about Jackie, that's why she said things. But there's two sides to every story, and just like I told you guys right now, hey, she's sitting over here bashing Jackie, but in reality, Jackie really could've, I mean, I don't know, honestly. To be honest with you, um, I don't 
I don't know, like, I don't, I'll see the drama, but I won't follow up on it, you get me? So, I don't know if Jackie really did speak to Jared about things privately, but I do think that if she had a business relationship with him, that she probably did tell him things in private, but I will say, though, in my personal opinion, um, not my personal opinion, sorry, from my, my personal knowledge, I don't know if he publicly apologized for that. I don't think he apologized for anything, to be honest with you. Um, but... I could be wrong, you guys let me know. Maybe he did publicly apologize for that, but I definitely think a public apology was necessary because he's literally mocking. And I'm like, come on, you know that that's mocking the Black Lives Matter movement, which is taking away all credibility from it and turning it into a joke, which is not cool. All right, so then I'm gonna go back in with my MAC 217 with the shade Jamila. Um, and I'm gonna focus this on the crease and then blend it up. So I'm just placing that right there. What I'm gonna do today is kinda do a um, smoky crease with a, mm, I don't know, cranberry lid? I'm thinking cranberry lid. I feel like that's very fall-ish. This palette actually is really pretty for um, the fall. I feel like it's all fall tones in here. Besides that bright old orange. Wow, that's fall tone too, I'm stupid. Okay, honestly you guys, this is the second time that I use this palette and I really am liking it so far, the mattes blend really really good you know one thing that I always liked about Mac is their matte shadows I don't know maybe just because I started off with those but I feel like they blend so good and I feel like these are pretty comparable to them they are blending out really really good and very easy together okay then I'm gonna be taking the black which is Chad I'm only gonna be taking a little bit of it because I want to have like a burnt orange crease and not a black crease so I'm gonna place this on very very softly so my question to you guys is is do you feel feel that brand owners should just stay off of social media like honestly just don't say nothing or do you guys like that they're vocal with their opinions i feel like it's kind of like you know we obviously live in a society where everyone has an opinion everyone wants to speak on it everyone just wants to have their voice heard and if they're irritated about something then they want to speak on it but if you own a brand do you think that you should just shut up and I say that with a smirk on my face because I know it's going to be difficult for me because I'm very opinionated. And when you guys ask me questions about people, I tell you guys and I feel like maybe I shouldn't do that. You know, especially if I'm going to own a brand because obviously it just kind of makes you look bad. But if that's your opinion, that's your truth then I don't know, maybe you should say things. You guys tell me, I feel like this whole thing is just a big question. All right, so I cut my crease um, with the CoverGirl concealer. As you guys know, I love that, especially to cut the crease. So I'm gonna be going in with the shade Borro, sounds like Chorro, and I'm gonna be taking that on my MAC 239. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention about um, the Julia's Place girl is she actually recently just just, um, like yesterday, I think, talk trash about Patrick Starr. This is another thing that she was like, oh, this guy, if you, um, or this clown, maybe she called him a clown, or maybe I'm making that up, I don't know. Um, I need to come up on here with facts, but look, I'm just a normal person. I know beauty drama channel. I'm just a normal person with some opinions, and that's about it. Um, and she had said, if you guys only knew how much this clown charged for okay let me not say clown again how much this guy charged for a review i guess because she had got mad that patrick had used his um jeffree star's video i mean uh, jeffree star's palette or whatever i don't know maybe they got drama too i don't know the backstory to that but that's the video that she had said it on so that like i said goes to my whole story of do you guys think that a brand owner should you know be public um with their opinions I don't know. I feel like that's a tough question for me personally to answer because I'm so opinionated. So I can't really give you an answer. All right, then I'm gonna be going in with the shade What a Bee. What a Bee? What a Bee? What a Bee? I don't know. What a Bee, um, which is this bronze. I'm gonna take it just in the front part of the eye and blend it into that cranberry shade. I don't really feel like this mixes together, but I'm just gonna try because I wanna try something different. Um, since I haven't used this palette in a long time, I figure, why not? Let me, oh yeah, I don't know about that. Oof. Yeah, those don't really fade good together actually, but whatever, I was giving it a shot. Okay, so I went ahead and I smoked out the outer corner using the shade Chad. Um, I will let you guys know that is not my favorite black. I actually, mm, 
don't really like it. I feel like it's kind of basic. Um, it's similar to carbon, I feel like. Uh, anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off of camera, and then I'll be back to talk about the next brands that have been canceled. So I'll be right back with my other eye done, and this one all cleaned up. All right, you guys, so I got my other eye all done. So I'm gonna go in with skin now, and to prime my skin, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Hangover Primer. As you guys know, Too Faced has been canceled, I think, two times at this point. Um, Jeffree Star, like, literally hates Jared, who was the owner of of the brand um, I think the first time that they got canceled was oh my god what was the reason the first time that they got canceled I have my friend Cynthia here by the way she showed up with um, some Michelada's because she know that this was gonna be a stressful video for me because it's a lot of drama going on in these brands so do you remember the first reason why they got canceled you're like no I don't know that I feel like a lot of people are just like I just buy the product and everyone's like to us, beauty influencers are like, bitch, why are you buying that product? You know? It's kind of <laughs> like a... Anyways, the recent one I just told you guys earlier was the Rich Lives Matters, but there was a reason before that. And then the, uh, also the other recent one is because Nikki tutorials it came out in Shane Dawson's series that she only got paid $50,000. Well, actually not even in his series because it was brought to light before that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take the primer and put it on my face while I'm talking. Um, that... He only paid Nikki Tutorials $50,000, but they sold $10 million worth of, or no, was it $10 million? A million pellets. A million pellets. Or it did $10 million. Something like that. I don't know. Something with $1 million or $10 million or something, and Nikki only got paid $50,000 from it. So, obviously, now everyone's like, screw Too Faced. I really wish I remembered the first reason why they got canceled. I forgot. But I know that the sister was like going crazy and um, saying that whoever buys Jeffree Star's makeup, it's just clown makeup and it's for clowns. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> it, that was literally the reason. But anyways, I'm going to tell you guys, I love this primer. I really, really do. Um... I know that I said it too in a recent video and I want to tell you guys this. In a recent video I said, oh, I know I shouldn't be using Too Faced because they're canceled because of, you know, the whole $50,000 thing. Okay, so my question to you guys is, while well, I let that primer sit in my face right now, um, somebody had commented on my video when I was using Too Faced, something or another. Um, they had said there's no need to cancel Too Faced because Nikki Tutorials is not making a big deal about it so therefore why should anyone else? And I want your guys' opinion on this because I want to know what you guys think because I don't think Nikki Tutorials overreacted. I don't think she made a big deal about it. But obviously, we all know that that was so shady of Too Faced to do because it's like, hold on, you made millions of dollars off of her but only paid her $50,000. Completely used her. But Nikki Tutorials made a tweet and said, you know what, it was my fault. I signed the deal. Um, I learned a lot from it. So, yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think. In my personal opinion, I do think that it is really shady. I think that Jared is a problematic person, especially with him, like I said earlier, doing the whole Rich Lives Matter on a birthday cake, knowing that the Black Lives Matter movement is so important this day and age, and he's going to go and mock it. I think that that's shady, but you guys, once again, let me know if you guys feel like the brand should be canceled because of that. Canceled. I'll say cancel culture is just, oh, it's so toxic. I don't know. I feel like if he learned from it, then kudos to him. Everyone should have a chance at redemption. That's just my personal opinion. But anyways, on to the next product. Okay, on to the next canceled brand, which is going to be for the face, the Huda Beauty Foundation. And I've got sh talked on me before about this foundation because they're like if you talk so much trash about Huda why do you use it this you guys is a very hard one for me even with all of my friends first of all I put all my friends onto this foundation um, because I personally feel like it's so amazing and three of them fell in love with it as well too and started using it because of me you guys this is so hard for me to stop using because this foundation works so well with my skin um, a lot of people hate it because they feel like it's too full coverage, it's too scented, which at first when I did um, try it, I was like, oh, it's really, really scented, um, but it works so good on my skin, so I kept on using it, you know? And you guys are the one that originally asked for the um, review on it years ago when it had first came out, and I was like, I'm not buying her products, I'm not buying her products, and you guys were like, please, 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 we know that you are, you're gonna be brutally honest, especially because you don't like her, um, and then I tried it, and I'm like, okay, I would love to tell you guys that I hate the foundation because I don't really like her, but I fell in love with it. It was so good on my skin and I just couldn't help it. So anyways, the reason why Huda Beauty is canceled is because first of all, 
and I had said this years ago and it took so long for people to catch on but you guys can go back to my videos from 2016 I was the first one I'm not trying to take credit but I was the first no I'm taking credit that I was the first one who said she does not use black women women of color she does not post men she posted one of my videos before but just my comedy video and I'm kind of like okay and other people had told me too she only posts men's uh comedy videos and I'm kind of like that's shady because uh, guys in the beauty community right now, it's like, at that time, was really rare to find. And I think that she's in the perfect position to help us out, you know, by shedding some light on men in the beauty scene. And she wasn't posting any black woman of color. And I think that's because um, she's Middle Eastern and obviously... Middle Easterns don't like nobody. They don't like blacks, they don't like gays, they don't like nobody, okay? So I think that's why she was doing it. But as soon as she came out with this foundation, you guys, she had black men on there, she had an Asian man on there, she had black women on there, and I'm like, huh, all of a sudden you want everyone else's coin. So to me, I was just kind of like, that's a little bit shady, and I was the first one to call it out. And then a year later, or two years later, everyone started bringing it to light that she's shady. She's shady. I look really pale right now, but don't worry, it's gonna, it's gonna even out, okay? I'm in between shades. Um, and then another reason why she's canceled is she completely ripped off beauty bakeries whole entire literally the whole entire concept of the baked goods shit like her sugar cookie do you know beauty bakery no damn okay so they're known for like having their like flower setting powder and things like that she stole the whole concept and she literally got caught for it she dm'd beauty bakery and asked for samples of this and six months later she came out with a photo shoot that literally copied the whole damn thing like she like Ew. yes she stole the whole concept completely and everyone was putting her on blast and she never addressed it she never apologized for it she never said nothing so that was the second time that she was canceled and honestly you guys she's just a little bit fake in my personal opinion but you guys her products i'm not gonna lie to you guys you guys know i'm gonna be real with you guys i would love to just be like they're in trash i hate them but they're good. And just today, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I know you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, you're such a hypocrite. But this is where I tell you it gets a little bit confusing for me and I am kind of like, what's the, I don't know the right term to use, but like, what do you call it? Like a, a rock in a hard place? Is that the thing? A rock in a hard place? I don't know. Damn, there's some type of phrase for it. I can't think of the phrase for it, but I'm stuck because I bought this um, lip set today, you guys. And this lip set, because I went to Namie's, was only $15, okay? And I really liked the color. And I was like, oh, my friend Cynthia, who's sitting right here, it's her fault. I blame her. She swatched it, and I was like, oh, that color is so perfect. Like, honestly, then, I want it. The guy messed up. And he gave us two. Yeah, whatever. But this nude, you guys, I was like, damn. It comes with one demi matte in the shade... Venus, Venus and then one matte in the shade Day Slayer and a full-sized lip liner for 15 bucks 15 bucks after the discount if you get these at like Sephora they're 25 bucks so that's when I was like oh my god I really like the color and I bought it and I know you guys can sit here and say you're a hypocrite but that's where I tell you things get tough because me as a makeup lover me as a makeup buyer I'm like oh my god I like this and I know I shouldn't be giving money to her pocket but this is like this what I'm telling you this whole video is a big question do you guys feel like I should be stronger as a consumer and stop buying the products like I really want your guys's opinion cuz that shit's rough for me because I saw that color thanks to Cynthia and I literally it's just nude. yes but it's a perfect nude though it's for my skin tone and well, our skin gonna tone I'm gonna wear it right now yeah um so that's why I'm telling you guys this whole thing. I know I probably sound like a hypocrite because you guys know I talk so much trash about her and I love her foundation so much. But I'm just kind of like, it is what it is and I'm stuck between loving it and then telling myself don't support her but then I really love it, you know? All right, you guys, so I went ahead and did my under eyes and put on my lashes because I couldn't think of any canceled lash brands but you guys let me know. By the way, I used um, the Go Big or Go Home Mascara by Kat Von D and... It's so weird that on my top lashes, I was like, oh, this is terrible. I don't like it. And then on my bottom lashes, I was like, oh, I really like it. So I think I'm going to like this as a bottom lash mascara. If that makes any sense, I don't know why for some reason. Specifically, when I was working at MAC, I love the Studio Sculpt lash for my top lashes. But for my bottom lashes, I like the Extended Play. I don't know. It's just weird. 
even though you would think it would work the same on both. I don't know. So anyways, I smoked out my lower lash line and I popped in a inner tear duct. So we're going to go in with the next cancel brand, which I think is the most controversial because he's like the biggest um, beauty guru or beauty influencer. Jeffree Star. Now, you guys, I stopped using his products for a while because I didn't want... It was such a big thing. I didn't want anybody to, you know, bash me and stuff like that. But it's crazy because in my personal opinion, and I, this is the first time out of all these years that I'm really saying my personal opinion, is times were different. And I'm not saying what he did was okay. Um, but honestly, you guys, like, I feel like everything was done for shock value back then. Everyone just wanted attention. And the things that he had said... I don't know, like, it just, it was really, really bad, obviously. So I didn't want to offend anybody by using his products on my channel. And I want to be real with you guys. Um, for me, specifically, is a different story. But he said, obviously, a racist word in a racist way. And I have said the word, too, obviously. But I'm saying with an A at the end, not an E-R at the end. And I want to tell you guys, from my point of view, this thing... Um, I grew up in San Pedro, in Long Beach, in Los Angeles, and you guys, it's a very diverse neighborhood, and times have changed, and recently, just in case you guys didn't see, a tweet had came up, and I'm totally, no one talks about this, no one ate any big drama about it, but I want to be real as fuck with you guys and let you guys know what's up. This tweet had came up that I had said the N-word, I said, blank said I look like a pit bull, blind ass bitch. Literally, that's what I said. And it's so crazy that this was in 2011. And I want to let you guys know, it makes me kind of mad because society was different back then. This word was completely acceptable. When I went to school, and I'm not trying to sit here and, oh my gosh, condone it, make it okay. But I want you guys to know, at the time, everyone said the word. Whites, blacks, Mexicans, Asians, literally everyone. Because it was like saying homie. It was like saying bro. It was nothing offensive. And you could sing along to songs while saying the N-word that were in the songs. Perfect example, look at J-Lo. She said it in a song with Ja Rule. Um, obviously, so many other people say it in songs as well, too, back in the day. Because it was a different time. It didn't really mean anything back then. Because we, obviously, were living in a different time. Obviously, now, I know as well as everyone knows you can't sing along to it you can't say it and that's completely fine That's completely acceptable, but I don't know if you should be held accountable for things that you said in the in the past when times were different now in the present time you get me because One of my biggest things was when this came up for me on Twitter specifically. I was like, okay First of all, I was 21 back then obviously three years out of high school It was completely acceptable to say in high school and the way I said it was in a non-racist way whatsoever it was like Homie said, I look like Pitbull, blind ass bitch. Literally, it's like that. Obviously, Jeffrey said it in a way more racist way than I did, but it was all in the past. And I think that things were so different and that's just my personal opinion on it. But obviously, I am a non-black person, so I have no space to judge on this type of topic. But all I can tell you is, is I've said it before, anybody who has grown up in Los Angeles, if you look back to nine years ago, ten years ago, it was completely socially acceptable to say because it didn't mean anything negative. It was like saying homie, it was like saying bro, it was like saying dog. It literally meant nothing. But obviously now, things are different. Um, and I want to tell you guys, the reason why I stopped using Jeffree Star's product on my channel also for two years is because I wanted to see if his personality has changed. And in my personal opinion, I feel like he really has changed. I feel like he's grown. Look, you guys are fully entitled to your own opinion. I'm entitled to mine. And I feel like he really has changed. Obviously, times are different now. And obviously, I know, as well as everyone knows, you can't say the N-word at all, period. To my knowledge, though, saying the N-word with an E-R at the end has always been racist and has always been unacceptable. I know that. But I'm saying with an A at the end, when I grew up, when I was in high school, when I was in middle school, it was completely acceptable to say, like, saying homie. So, that's my whole spiel on this. Let me go ahead and put on this highlighter. This is in the um, shade Peach Goddess. I don't have my Morphe brush, which Morphe is canceled too. Um, I don't have that brush. I don't know where it is, so I'm taking this old fan brush. Okay, this highlighter. I really like it, but I do feel like it is very similar to an eyeshadow in the aspect of when I put it on my skin, it looks textured. It is beautiful it really is and you guys probably think from there from the camera it looks so good but in person it adds this type of texture that i 
have to be very careful with where I'm like, okay, let me not add too much of it because it shows too much texture as to where the Rihanna one, the, what do you call it? The Hustle, Hustler Baby, that's the one it's called. When I use that one, oh, I could use so much of it and my skin looks like butter. It looks so smooth. So yeah, but I mean, from on camera, it looks good. I feel like it looks really, really good. Also, I do have some Jeffree Star lipsticks straight up you guys i haven't purchased any of his products since then because i genuinely wanted to see how his this is the one that i have um dirty money i wanted to see how his personality would change and i don't know i really feel like he did learn from that when i watched his apology video not that he's apologizing to me not that i can accept an apology on behalf of the black community because obviously that word hasn't been um geared to me in a negative racist way so i have no space to talk on about it but in my personal opinion i do feel like he seemed genuine and i do feel like he's grown from that but maybe i'm wrong okay maybe i am wrong by the way you guys to just to take a little break um this video is literally meant for you guys to give feedback that's what it's all for i want this to be a very positive video in the aspect of everyone have rational conversations don't get on the comments and start being hateful and hurtful and stuff like that because it's so easy to do and you guys come on we're all adults here there's no need to get you know negative and call people names i don't like that i'm not that type of person i don't feel like you should sit here and call anyone out of their name so if you guys have any opinions i ask that you say them in a mature way not in a just completely rude way you get me that's all i'm asking for other than that this is a completely open space to have a conversation um i'm trying to open this i don't know why it's oh there we go oh, this is oh okay i finally got the packaging all open for the huda lip set i will say the concept of this is so cute like I don't know it's really cute even though i'm like oh screw her but anyways i am gonna go in with the shade day slayer um i'm not gonna talk during this as you guys know i stated my opinions earlier about her you guys all know my opinions on huda so i don't need to really go over it again but once again leave your feedback honestly leave your feedback All right, you guys, so I just put on the shade Day Slayer. I didn't put on the lip liner because I was too lazy to do so. All right, you guys, so this is my final look using canceled brands. I hope this video was informative for you guys, but then also um, a little... <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to get your guys' mind open. I want to know your guys' opinions 100%, and I hope that I didn't offend anybody by using brands like this, but... Honestly, you guys, it does get a little bit tough because I feel like so many brands are getting canceled like every single day. And it's just kind of like, what do you do at this point? What um, deems a brand canceled, you know? Because maybe my mind is um, too forgiving. Maybe I am too optimistic. But I feel like everyone should get the chance to change. Even Huda, and you guys know my opinions on her. I've had my opinions about her for a few years and the older that I get the more I realize we need to start being more forgiving honestly um, and I feel like everyone makes mistakes I feel like if you are watching this I said this earlier in my video and you feel like you haven't made a mistake you're a liar you genuinely are a liar we have all made mistakes we have all screwed up so I feel like as long as somebody is showing growth somebody is showing that they're learning from this then us as a society we have to let the people learn let the people grow cancel culture is so toxic and when you cancel someone you're not giving them the opportunity to grow give everyone the opportunity to grow because that's how us as humans learn i feel like this is getting so philosophical but i hope you guys understand where i'm coming from so you guys my final final opinions on everything is like honestly i really do like these products um the huda the Huda thing, you guys, it sucks because I really like her products. You guys know, you guys asked me to review her eyeshadows. You guys have asked me to review her um, foundation and those things I really did like. And this lip color on me, I really do like. Um, but you guys know I'm very opinionated and when something is wrong, I'll always say it. And it sucks that I may come across as a hypocrite, but I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Be, but I understand how I come across as a hypocrite. I'm talking trash about them, but putting money in their pocket by buying a, a product, I feel like it's a little different for me though because when so many people are asking me to review a product of course I want to take in your guys's consideration and um, review something that you guys want me to review so um, yeah with that said though as long as people are showing growth I feel like everyone should have a shot at redemption everyone deserves a second chance but you guys let me know your guys's opinion like I said throughout this whole entire video 
I'm leaving this an open question. I want everyone's opinions. I want everyone's feedback. I want you to talk to me and let me know. And I'm literally going to read the comments. And you guys tell me your guys' opinion because I want to know it all. So anyways, with that said, this is my final look. I really like it. I think I look cute. Uh, anyways, you guys, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.